Hey everyone, this is Shana from wordofmouth.org, and I'm here with wordofmouth.org crash course speaker David Rabjohns. David, can Hello. you tell us about? Hi, can you tell us about the um, class you'll be teaching? Yeah, uh, hello everybody. I, I'm actually teaching a session called How to Measure Word of Mouth. And right. uh, in that class, I'm going to be introducing a framework for thinking about how to track, measure, and learn from your word of mouth. Uh, and it's something I'm very passionate about. I've been doing it for, gosh, 25 years now. Uh, first on, on the client side, places like IBM and Pepsi, and then in the agency business. At uh, Saatchi and Leah Burnett, and now in the social world, which is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So, what are the top three lessons people will learn in your session? They'll learn, uh, first of all, what not to do. So, there's a huge amount of uh, social measurement out there, and most of it's wrong for a lot of different reasons. So, we'll talk about the mistakes, the obvious ones, and the not so obvious ones. We'll also uh, present a framework for thinking about the relationship between online conversations in offline sales. It's something we've been studying since about 2006. So, uh, you know, we've learned quite a bit along the way. And we'll be talking about what the best of the best are up to. We work with companies like Audi and Nike and Sprint. And so we'll talk about how they're applying these, these lessons um, to their own social and, and non-social activities. Cool. So what do you think the biggest mistake is that people make when trying to measure one? Uh, that's an easy one. I mean, the number one mistake is uh, they forget to start with the business goals. I see so many people saying, my bonus is based on how many likes I get on Facebook. And then you say, well, why? And, and they don't have an answer. And, you know, it's sort of business 101. Start with the uh, business issue at hand and then work out what you want to do and then work out what you want to measure. So, uh, and it's, it's so avoidable. If you just spend five minutes thinking before you act, you know, everybody is in so action orientated in uh, the social realm. Uh, just step back, have a cup of coffee, have a think about what you're trying to do before you start. Perfect. And what is your favorite word of mouth story of all time? You know, you know, I, I was looking for a fun one, but really the one that I'm, I'm most excited about is, uh, the, the story of Sprint. I mean, it's, it's a company that was being beaten up on every side from uh, AT&T and Verizon. They were losing um, half a million customers a quarter. And by listening better to their customers, they were able to turn everything around uh, and go to uh, gaining 1.1 million customers a quarter. And I just think that it's so exciting that we've gone from this nascent world where we listen to a few conversations online to a genuinely powerful tool where listening can change business so dramatically. So that's my favorite one. Very cool. Well, that's all the time we have now, but you can come to the wordofmouth.org crash course in Austin on May 10th to hear more from David Rabjohn and from one day of love, happiness, and word of mouth. Go to wordofmouth.org slash crash course to register.